Hey Motorheads, it's your boy MP coming at you live and direct from the Hell Omega headquarters out here in beautiful San Francisco, California. The car on tonight's menu has been a request. It is the 2009-2010 Passat Wagon. And nothing screams, I love soccer, I have children, I am a family like a Passat Wagon. So I got this request from someone that's a little bit more younger and I want to instantly steer them in I think a more fitting direction, um, for me at least. Now, before we do that though, I have to cover the Passat because it is a pretty spectacular car and there might be some people who watch this video that could be potentially uh, interested in the, the awesome Passat wagon. Um, first and foremost, the thing that you do need to recognize is that the car is fairly, fairly large. It's like almost um, 190 inches. It's 188, I think, inches long, which is a pretty solid sized piece of metal going on there. Um, because of that, the Passat basically fits in the lineup. It goes Jetta, A4, Passat A6 and I reference this because there's a lot of Audi owners out there that are very very familiar with the Passat brand being the Volkswagen owns Audi I'm trying to paint a picture of where they place this car in their whole entire family lineup um, So the car is bigger than an Audi A4. It's smaller than an Audi A6. The cabin space is incredibly comfortable um, Six foot two four grown men could fit in there like no problem So there's a lot of plus to that Four-cylinder motor only now in 2010, 200 horsepower, um, front-wheel drive. One thing that I would love to note now while I can before we move on to a better-fitting car for this particular person um, is that if you could come across a really, really nice used 3.6, that car was so off the chain. 3.6 liter, 285 horsepower motor, all-wheel drive. It was a dream machine wagon. Uh, definitely was a expensive toy back in the day and that was definitely in the high 30 price point low 40s range um, which was scary for a lot of people because at that point they want luxury they want Audi they want Quattro they don't want 4Motion um, because a big misconception is a lot of people think 4Motion is the same as Quattro and they are definitely not the same um, so they kind of took that car out of their lineup the point being, though, is that the car really didn't hold its resale value very well, and it's definitely worth more than what you probably would get one for. So if you could stumble upon a used one, certified pre-owned, get the warranty, get some great rate, that might be a good little bargain buy. That might be a little pick-me-up. So uh, keep that on your back burner. Keep that on your mind. Um, but the overall conception behind the Passat is that it's definitely more of like a 30-year-old something family car. It's definitely mommy. It's definitely like soccer mom. A lot of great aspects behind it. It has some really great headlights. Um, some really soft lines. The tail lights could use a little working. Uh, it's an electric power tailgate. I mean, there's a lot of really great nifty things about the car. I don't want to discount the car, but since this is a request video, I have to be specific to the potential consumer or buyer. And I don't know with your age range if that might be the hot topic car for you. Nice drive, absolutely. Very big though, absolutely. Mommy esque, very much so. If you need a utility car and you need that big extra um, trunk and all the cubic feet, then you know obviously car that might take the next car I have on the menu for you. The Jetta there. wagon, the sports wagon, to me is way more youthful. It doesn't scream I like soccer, but it screams like I like rock climbing, I like camping, I like surfing, I like you know going to Tahoe. It's definitely more youthful. It's a lot of fun. You have the full glass panoramic roof, which the Passat doesn't have, which I really think dates the car. Uh, with the big panoramic roof, you bring in tons of light. You feel super like alive in the car. It's really open. It's really rich. Now, especially in 2010 with that um, Jetta wagon, you get that beautiful touchscreen uh, radio head. Uh, the lines are really nice. You have the little cool Volkswagen logos in the headlights. It's a really fun, hot car. Um, it's cheaper, too. Now, the Jetta wagon is going to start at a $19,000 price point, whereas the Passat wagon is going to start at almost 29000 So I don't know if I can justify the base pricing. The cool thing with the Jetta Wagon, which a lot of car dealers might not know or tell you because they're really hard to come by, is that they come in an SEL model. Now don't get your hopes up on because it is a little bit more difficult. But with that car, you get the rocking four-cylinder, 200 horsepower motor, just like the Passat, but you get the awesome DSG transmission you get leather seating surfaces, you get you get the whole shaboodle, you get upgraded wheels, you get a multi-function steering wheel. It's definitely, I think, a better, hotter, funner, more way to go. Um, and if you want to be really green, save the environment, go with the 2009 car of the year, you have the Jetta Sport TDI turbo diesel wagon, which obviously, if you watched the turbo diesel video from before, super in love with, super hot off of turbo diesel, another car that's a really hard one to come across right now. But the reality and the picture that I'm really trying to paint is, is that the Jetta... 
even if you went like an SE, which gives you leatherette, and for 2010, crazy multifunction steering wheel, crazy touchscreen radio, panoramic roof is an option, great alloy wheels is an option, awesome iPod system, heated seats, um, Bluetooth technology, if I didn't mention that. And again, youthful, fun, edgy design. Um, you know, that could put you like in the 25-ish price point and you're still going to get rock and gas, you know, fuel efficiency, even in the gasoline, it's like 30 highway, um, especially in the four owner, like 22-ish city. So it's going to get better fuel efficiency than the Passat. It's going to be cheaper than the Passat, going to be better performance than the Passat. Um, is it going to give you the ultimate luxury, big six foot two guy feel that, you know, the Passat can offer you? Probably not. But the question is, if you really need that, is it going to give you the cubic space that the Passat offers you? Definitely not. Because obviously the Passat is, like I said, 188 inches versus 179 inches and inches in car talk is equivalent to feet. So you're talking about basketball hoop difference worth of size, ridiculous size difference between the two cars. Um, so I think that maybe it would be in your best interest to really think more about a Jetta sport wagon, dig a little bit deeper, do a little bit more information, I'm going to aggregate some stuff for you, throw some links up on there for you, or get hot on the used 3.6 Passat because that Passat came with like sport wheels, sport seats, and it's definitely a lot more youthful. I just think that jumping into a mommy mobile might not be the right way you want me motoring. That's just my personal opinion. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, my vote is Jetta Wagon. There's a lot of strengths to the car. Safety is out of this world. Performance out of this world. Uh, fuel efficiency out of this world. Youthful fun feel. And at the end of the day, I think this is what you'll really be happy motoring in. So in the meantime, keep on motoring.